Hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Here's the package. I've been looking for one of these for a while. I found this one. I did not want to buy one of these because the company has some anti-repair practices that I'm not a fan of. Um, but this one came available. So let's open it up. And we'll discuss what's in here on another video, maybe. Um, just to show you, it's all sealed. I record every opening, but let's go from the bottom here. I have a sharp blade in my hand. Cotty's looking at me weird. And Peanuts. I hate packing peanuts. Oh well. It's packed well. That's all that matters. It's an expensive tool. So. Let me get something to toss these peanuts in. And another priority box will work. wonder if that loud car that backfires is going to drive by again. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, it looks like it's a, another box. I really hate packing peanuts, but I did it to somebody else the other day. So lots of packing peanuts they got. So I guess they'll get reused and reused and reused. What do we have in this box here? Nothing else in the box? Like it's pretty empty. Hey, now we got two priority boxes of pack and peanuts. Uh, pack and peanuts just get everywhere. And we'll open that up. I will. Yeah, I need, I, I, I can use this because I've had some, deny some, have, I've had to deny some work um, because my current units didn't support the chips and to add them, it would, I wouldn't make a profit. So it's all about making a profit, man. At least he packs well. That's... So, so it's Flasher, Serger, Flasher, Flasher Pro, serial number six nine five zero one zero one one three one. Part number is a five one seven zero one. So that just tells you what it is. I already have a uh, Flasher 5 R1 because I needed it to dump the Hako uh, FM202. So let's see what's in this box. We have a serial, I think that's a null modem cable. Of course, we have an Ethernet cable. USB cable. We have embedded experts manual. Yeah, I helped somebody fix their Flasher 5 R1 because they burned it up. They messaged Serger about getting schematics and even just the value of part number and they just flat out denied a, a common part number. Um, then I messaged them and yeah, it was the same thing. They finally agreed to send me the schematics and stuff um, and firmware, but they wanted me to sign an NDA and that NDA was, no, I, if I want to do a video or something and show what I'm doing, um, 
on a repair or something, I want to be able to show the schematic. I want to be able to show the firmware if I'm flashing it or whatever. So, okay, so flasher fro, 120 pin target cable. No target cable, but oh well. USB, Ethernet, and oh, oh here's the target cable. Yeah, it was hiding. Okay. So here's the device. And nothing else in that box. So this is a Flasher Pro. Ethernet, USB, and that. Let's open this up. Look at that. No SD card. Hmm. Wonder if that's normal. Wonder if that's the difference between the Flasher Pro XL and the regular Flasher. Because uh, somebody I know in Turkey sent me a picture of their Flasher Pro XL and it had a micro SD card in there. And this one don't. So, um, but that's it. Here, let me open that up again for you. Give me a nice little peek at the inside of that. And I'll show you the difference. I've got the Flasher 5. I remember how to open this one. This one's a little bit tougher. Well, the Flasher 5 is right here. Let me got to remember how to open this. I think this one opened a little different. Yeah, this one requires it to... Yeah, this one you have to push the little tabs. At least they make them simple to open. They're not like some other programmers. They're sealed. There we go. And that's the inside of the Flasher 5. Remove the daughter board. So, Flasher 5, Flasher Pro. But I will go more in depth on these a little later. Um, just to show people the inside of this. Let me zoom in here. Yeah, I'll post a picture on the blog post in the description on this to compare the two, the Flasher Pro and the Flasher Pro XL. I'm not sure if the firmware is different or not, but um, looks like there's a programming header right there. So we should be able to do what we need to do. Um, oh, we will catch you all later. Thanks for watching.